So just back from the world's biggest cancer meeting, the annual meeting of the American Society of Clinical Oncology. It's corny to say it, but this year the big winners were actually patients, uh, not companies. Partly because a lot of the companies have gotten so big or are no longer publicly traded, partly because the news was baked in, but we saw amazing results in melanoma or skin cancer from Roche and Bristol-Myers, and those drugs are going to be combined, which is fantastic. We saw good results from Ariad and sarcoma. We saw good results from Exitinib and Pfizer. Certainly not going to move the needle much for them, but still, nice news. Um, and one of the melanoma drugs, a BRF inhibitor, and also crizotinib, which we saw some follow-up results on, the Pfizer lung cancer drug, are really showing us the genetic tests can improve uh, the ability of new drugs to uh, really help patients and, and provide dramatic responses. So that's great news. In terms of stocks, in terms of companies where there's a new drug uh, that is actually going to uh, determine the fate of that company, there are really two that stood out for me this year. The first is Exelixis, a uh, new drug to prevent prostate cancer bone metastases, which are incredibly painful. Uh, and this is really, it looks like one of the first drugs to really make those kind of almost melt away. We don't know what kind of impact that will have on survival. The company's going to have to do a larger phase three trial. Uh, the lead investigator, uh, Maha Hussein, a very respected oncologist, told me that she thinks that this drug, we do need to be cautious, but this really is an unprecedented result. So that's one worth watching. The other one is Insight, which has a drug for a condition called myelofibrosis, which is a kind of, it's a slower malignancy. It's not like most cancers, but it causes enlarged spleens uh, and other kinds of blood-based side effects. And this is really uh, a drug that, ha that proved effective. Uh, the companies filed with the FDA. Some people are worried about competition, some that the company's market capitalization is too high. But definitely worth a look in a world where there really is a paucity of new drugs compared to what one might have expected the industry to be producing uh, a few years ago. So those are the two companies I'd look at that are stocks. There's a lot of other exciting stuff. Um, this was the year when DNA sequencing first started to really show up. In, uh, in talks by cancer doctors. Uh, so that's exciting, but in terms of companies, uh, that's about what I saw. Thank you very much. Let me know whether this video experiment worked and whether I should try it again.